second half of the show to listen to the radio we are rocking here right now on <clears throat> uh itunes um uh iheart radio we are rocking live right now we have a live show coming at i was gonna start the show at three but i think i'm gonna start the show at five the live show at five and i'm gonna do another live show tonight at 10 p.m so tune in for that one going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, that was going to be about three hours, maybe two, three hours. The one at uh, five is going to be for two hours, so check me out for that one. I got a lot of things to talk about. So, um, This topic is kind of fucked up. It is. It, I don't, it's not fu- It's not kind of. It's fucked up. All right. This was sent to me by a... This was sent to me by a black female. And she is from, go ahead and tell you where she's from. She is from, She is from Detroit. The title is A Damn Shame. It's a damn... The title of the video, the, of the topic of what she sent me was, It's a Damn Shame Black Men Are On A, on a Down Low. Why is, it can't, why is it that you can't just be a straight man? It's really fucked up. Sincerely, sincerely... It's fucked up. So that's what she sent me. Her name is Let me let me tell you what her name is one second. Her name is Ebony Bone, Ebony Boner, Boners, and um, the video that I was going to show you was taken down due that it was too graphic. The news report, even the news who did the report in Detroit, took it down off their website because it was so graphic. The uh, it's two parts to this. Now they are saying that. Um, in the story, first it was saying that the child was, it had a 15, I mean, I'm sorry, it had an eight-year-old boy who was raped and sodomized with a pipe, with, I'm sorry, with a, with a back in the other room. And this happened September, this happened on September 15, 2015. At approximately eight o'clock p.m., um, supposedly in the story, a eight-year-old young boy was an eighteen-year-old boy was being babysitted by his fifteen-year-old cousin. His fifteen-year-old cousin was babysitting. I mean, I'm sorry, not his fifteen-year-old cousin. His fifteen-year-old a friend of a cousin was babysitting him. It was a boy. 
boy was babysitting the eight-year-old. The eight-year-old went upstairs to go get something out of his room. Came back to go get something to drink out of the kitchen. When he came back to the, the front room, the 15-year-old was sitting in there beating, uh, masturbating to a porn movie. The eight-year-old asked him, what are you doing? He told him he's he's getting something. He's, he's, he's taking some frustration out. The young boy sat there and watched him do it. He goes to say, then the 15-year-old male that's unknown, because he's a teen, he's unknown, asked him, have you ever did it before? Have you ever masturbated before? He said, no, I have never masturbated before, but I heard about it. A lot of my friends do it. He goes to say the 15-year-old boy asked him would he do him or would he want him to do him so he could see how it feel. He said probably so. So the 15-year-old boy started masturbating the 88-year-old boy. This is all going on while the parents is gone. The, parent, the mom of the 8-year-old boy went out to a dinner or something, I guess. And the father was... It was at work, I guess. I don't know. Um, he goes to say the 15 year old boy finished giving the guy, the eight year old boy, um, masturbate, masturbating him. Afterwards, the 15 year old boy called another male that's 18 years old. His name is Jeffrey Williams. Jeffrey Williams came over to the house. And seen the eight-year-old boy and was instantly amazed that of the eighteen-year-old boys. Um, they don't. They. they it's kind of saying it looks, but it's not looks. But he was amazed of the eighteen, the eight-year-old boy, I guess. And uh, situation happened with the eight-year-old boy. They asked the eight-year-old boy would he do something with them. I guess is what they're trying to say. Eight-year-old boy said no. They he refused, and the eighteen-year-old male male at the, t at the time that was there handcuffed and handcuffed the eight year old boy to the chair eight year old boy was to the chair uh, bent over they, the eight, 18 year old and the 15 year old took turns having sex with the eight year old boy and they sodomized him with a uh end of the broomstick um the eight-year-old boy is now in critical condition in detroit county hospital with badly of uh, degrees to his anal his anal is damaged he's being processing he's being processed and leave in a couple of weeks he's been in there almost a week now he's still in the hospital but new things are coming out after this story. Now they are saying that the eight-year-old boy made this up. And he wanted to do this. They didn't rape him. And he wanted to do this. He called them over. The guy said he arranged for his parents to be gone and everything. The 15-year-old the boy said he was just doing it just because the other guy made him to. So it's a lot of things going on. The video was taken off of the Detroit website not there but you can go find an article at detroit.com uh website i'm gonna have to find the research but somebody sent this to me and it's in the website i'm not to it just told me you can still find a story but the video is taking off i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna put it up on my page so you can see it uh and you can try to get your own idea what happened in that room um i don't know but the guy was charged with rape that 15 year old guy was charged with rape and um they're yeah, saying they're charging the 15 year old as an adult due to the, the extent of the crime. Um, I wanted to ask my family and friends and my fans why are we so quickly to leave our kids with somebody? This story could have happened to anybody in the world, it could have happened to anyone. And a lot of people are going to be outraged about this. But a lot of people are not going to care. They still don't let their child 
hang with somebody or be with somebody. Right now, it's somebody in the world, child is hanging with somebody and the parents don't know they're hanging with them. But we wonder why our kids do stupid shit, wind up in jail, wind up smoking weed early, wind up doing certain things. Because parenting is lacking. The parentings are lacking. The parents are not there. They either at work because they got to be because they got to provide or either they at work because they don't want to be around their kids already, you know, certain situations. The guy, Jeffrey, is 18 years old. I'm not no rocket science, but an 18 year old male, dick, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to be front of an 18 year old male, dick. Could be big, could be small, could be giant, could be whatever the fuck you want to put it in your head. I'm just giving you an idea. He sexually assaulted an eight-year-old boy. I, I I have I have a lot of sympathy for this because a lot of folks in my life has been raped. Uh, a lot of people in my life, my family, a lot of my friends have been victim of rape. Uh, sexual assault by some family member or friend. I don't really have nothing uh, funny to say about this topic or anything like that. It's just fucked up that this was this happened. The little eight year old boy did not know what he was doing. He probably thought they was playing a game. Something like that. He was taught about this shit too young. And this is what happened with folks. Get taught about shit too young. The experiences happen like this to them and they can't come back from it. This eight year old boy is now being in a hospital. He missed his birthday. His birthday was two days after this happened. He couldn't go to his birthday party because he was stuck in a hospital. Couldn't talk, couldn't shit. Was constipated because they fucked him so hard. It clogged up his fucking, his, his, order, his, uh, it clogged up his, his shithole. How sick can you be as a person to fuck an eight-year-old boy? Anybody that's fucking, anybody that you're not supposed to be fucking is sick. I don't give a fuck if it's an eight-year-old girl, a six-year-old girl, an eight-year-old, a month. I didn't see stories on Steve Wilkos that a fucking man had sex with a two-month-year-old. How can you have sex with a two-month-year-old baby? They, they vaginas are small as fuck. And you, you want to call you, I'm a man, my dick big. It can't be that big you can fit on a, a two-month-year-old child. What if it ain't small at all? Can you imagine a big man's a, a, a dick going into a two-month-year-old child? I know some girls that's fucking that that that's not virgins and they say they can't take dick and they older. A two month year old child. This was an eight year old boy. He deserves whatever the fuck comes to him. The electric chair hanging. I don't give a fuck. I would I would let every inmate. Who has HIV have sex with him if I was the ward I would let every inmate who don't like blacks every white inmate have sex with him rape him show him how that feel to be taking your innocent now this eight-year-old boy gonna have to go back to school people gonna be calling him names faggot different names like this this guy might wind up even killing himself because of the guilt that he May of may have set this up or just been took advantage over. And the fucking friend of the cousin of the fifteen year old was so shocked he said he didn't know he said he didn't know his friend was like that. How the fuck you cannot know how you didn't know your friend was a faggot? A gay man or uh, 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 what we call them flower boys. How you didn't know your best friend I don't have nothing against gays and don't watch this and think that I'm bashing gays. I don't have anything against gays. Love who you are as a person. I have gay friends. I have gay. I have a gay brother. You hear me? Close to me. Shout out Kevin. You hear me? Shout out my nigga Flow. You hear me? Sunflower. That's my nigga. Flu Loops. You hear me? You already know what it is. That's my nigga. He close. 
But I, I, I have a problem with this because now his boy innocent is being taken from him. You have to feel for this child. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's it's the world is getting crazy by the day, man. It, it really is, and it's. I know I said on my last story, what type of world? If we can do this world over again. What type of world would you want to leave for your kids? Would you want to leave this world that we stay in, that we live in, to your kids now? Would you be confident if you can die right now? If God came and said you're coming home, would you be confident? Because we all talk that, that, that talk about if God come get us right now, what would you go, heaven or hell? If God took you right now, would you be con if you have children, would you be confident that your children are going to be safe with your guidance that you gave them, with the parent training that you gave them, with the home training that you gave them, with the guidance that you gave them, the love, would you think your children will make it? I'm not answering any question on this because... I'm going to leave this for the live streaming show. Because I got a lot of folks right now. I'm sorry. I'm not going to answer your questions. I got a lot of folks emailing me, texting me on this. If I if I let this show go, I'll be all day asking these questions. Answering these questions. So it's going to be for a live show. I'm sorry I have to do this today because I have a lot of videos I have to do. And I don't have time to do them all like that if I keep answering a lot of questions. So I'm going to ask a lot of questions on this topic on the first, the second hour of the show. Matter of fact, the first hour of the show is going to be dedicated to this, to this topic. And then the second one, the presidency and everything else. So answer me, man. Write me on uh, Facebook, Instagram. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you'll be confident if you have kids. Would you be able to leave your, this world to the kids the way we have it right now and the way things are going? Thumbs up the video. Like it like it dislike it if you don't like it leave feedback go subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel please go watch my videos to get so i can get some hits so i can get out there so people can really start seeing me and i can have this thing what up the way i want it to have and bring different opportunities to people um i have a lot of things i'm about to bring out a lot of different things i got coming avon different things that we have coming out so tune in for that for the episode tonight at 5 o'clock 5 p.m. and at 10 p.m. Um, you know we're going to have a good time this is a Listen Doctor Radio and uh, tune in for Listen Doctor TV later on tonight